what a beautiful day for a ride my friends it's 30 degrees plus well celsius <laughs> the sun is shining traffic isn't too bad yet <laughs> which means we are riding stupid thing that i forgot my sunglasses seriously and today we would just want to talk through a question i got a few times in the past actually and that is if the heritage classic is actually considered a touring bike or not so let's jump right into it Classic is part of the Softail family. So when it comes to that frame question, then no. But let's actually compare it to one of the most iconic touring bikes, especially when it comes to the Harley Davidsons. Let's talk about the Street Glide in comparison to the Heritage Classic. And if I do not get out of the downtown core soon, I'm going to lose my mind. These stupid red lights. And we will just start at the front and work our way back. So let's start with the windshield. The street light has an entire fairing with an infotainment system. Well, and then as soon as you talk to about the street light special or street lights, you have a couple of extra perks. But in general, you have something that protects you from the wind. Check the wind. Like the heritage has it too. Like standard of the like stock <laughs> the windshield is there and then when you think about it the infotainment system is something you can kind of add on afterwards or you have it on your phone already so you can have like a full mount on your handlebar or you can install little speakers on your heritage and then you kind of have the same idea not quite as pretty as a street light but it has like it fulfills the same purpose Handlebar and handlebar positioning. The Heritage is definitely super comfortable to ride on just with your arm and shoulder position. As if you have, like, because you have these little mini apes. And another red light. I'm going crazy. I just want to get, like, away from the red lights. I want to ride. Here we go. Now at least we don't have red lights for a little while anymore. Yay! Okay, so we stop where uh, with the handlebars. So handlebars super comfy with the Heritage Classic, as is it with the Street Glide. It's cons like it's built to be more of a comfortable ride because with the touring bikes, you wanna be able to ride longer, more comfortably, right? And then also talking about riding longer, more comfortably, the Heritage as well has um, a cruise control as do you have the big baggers with the bigger tank the heritage definitely is designed to go longer distance for sure as well so when it comes to the fuel size i would say definitely considerably a, a touring bike because you can actually go all the way up to like 400 450 kilometers until you have to fill up again so that's a decent distance you can go there and then kind of on the same height as the tank are the floorboards in comparison to like the Sportster uh, lineup or their Sportster S lineup the Softail Heritage Classic does come with floorboards and floorboards are so freaking comfortable because you can shift around on them really can, and can either be nice and forward or a little bit mid controlled you just have a little bit more flexibility which makes it a little bit more comfortable on, on the longer rides so definitely another indication that the Softail Heritage Classic here is actually considered a touring bike <laughs> because same with like being comfortable on it the seat that just comes as stock on the Heritage Classic is extremely cushiony it gives you the support where you need it in comparison for example um, with the Softail Slim this is, compared to the Heritage Classic seat the Softail Slim feels very hard and not very 
comfortable. Your palm starts to hurt pretty quickly. Another reason why we have to replace this limb seat very soon. <laughs> of the factory the heritage classic also does come with a passenger seat as well as passenger foot pack but not with passenger floorboards necessarily um, my the previous owner of my heritage classic here specifically and then floorboards for the passenger like as an aftermarket thought and they're very comfortable like not just comfort for the rider but as well for the passenger so i would say definitely another bonus point towards the fact that the heritage classic is a touring bike and then one of the most obvious reasons of course are the saddlebags the saddlebags are again a stock thing with the heritage classic as would it be with the street glide really or the rogue glide so just another indication that the heritage actually should be considered a tune back. So feature-wise, I would say the Heritage Classic definitely should be considered more of a touring bike than anything else. But it really comes down to if you want to use it as a touring bike or not. It depends on like what you want to do with it because the Heritage is also great if you just want to rip around town as is a sporty. You can also go touring with a sporty. It's just not as comfortable. <laughs> so it's just a matter of uh, like how comfortably you want to be on your tours because realistically you can go on bike tours with every single bike that's out there but the Heritage Classic for sure offers a very comfortable way to go on longer trips and doesn't tire you out as quickly between your bumps, your arm location, your footrests, like the back like it's all meant to be going on longer trips so what does it mean? Or we simply have to go on longer trips. <laughs> now that um, Andy and I both have two big soft tails and are riding a little bit more comfortably than before with the, with the sporty alone, we're definitely planning on going on bigger trips and explore British Columbia on two wheels basically. Or four wheels if you want to add the two bikes back up. <laughs> um, <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a second the video goes online. <laughs> oh, and while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up. It takes you two seconds and helps me out a lot. <laughs> and then until we go on to the next adventure, I hope you guys are riding safe out there and having tons of fun. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye.